Centuries ago, Galileo turned a simple telescope to the heavens, launching us all on a quest of cosmic discovery. Galileo, in his work with the telescope, was threatening the philosophy that underpinned the church's understanding of God. 400 years later, our journey is just beginning. Edwin Hubble completely revolutionized our picture of the universe we live in, from a small static universe to a dynamic and expanding universe. The sun supplies the energy that sustains all life on the Earth, and so it is extremely important for us to understand all aspects of the variability of the sun. There is a significant potential that the Earth will be hit by a killer asteroid. With PennStars, we will be able to detect such killer asteroids 30 years before the impact. and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Discovery with the Hubble Space Telescope, our window on the universe. Every time they went up and did a servicing mission, they put new instruments on the telescope. And each servicing mission gave us a whole new observatory. And that's why Hubble has remained so scientifically productive, and that's why it's remained so popular. My computer program was telling me that the universe was acting like it had a negative mass. And the only way that could happen is if the expansion rate wasn't slowing down, it was actually speeding up. And that's when I had the first clue that something really interesting was going on. There are different ways in which you can explain this observed acceleration. You can add dark energy, which is a pretty exciting possibility, because we have no idea what dark energy is. In my opinion, we are on the verge of a revolution where we will have to rearrange all the information and provide a new vision of the universe. Technology and the thirst for knowledge has taken humanity on a quest of discovery, removing us from a small, confined ball of stars and dropping us into an endless ocean of space and time.